the greatest American alive. It's so easy to see what somebody else should do. It's so easy to cheer for somebody else. We all do that, right? We cheer for our favorite sports teams. We follow our favorite influencers and authors. We plan birthday parties for our friends. We take on extra work from our colleagues. We support everyone around us. We do not know how to do it for ourselves. To speak gratitude is courteous and pleasant. To enact gratitude is generous and noble. But to live gratitude is to touch heaven. But to live gratitude is to touch heaven. Did you say I'm so thankful for me today? Did you wake up and out of bed and say, oh my goodness, almighty creator, thank you so much for allowing Project Daddy to be here? You ain't Project Daddy. You're the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. It's okay to pat yourself on the back. There are many different aspects of this. Yes, explain. One is, we often are so caught up in moving, production, and things like that, that we forget to congratulate ourselves for the small victories that we do accomplish within that journey. It's time to get excited about the small victories. I don't care how small you think that victory is, it's a big victory, especially if you believe in yourself. If you're setting the goals and you're accomplishing those goals, and oh my goodness, man, you should be so excited. Project Daddy is experimenting with sobriety right now, and it's not everyday sobriety, but every day that I win, I'm like, heck yeah, Project Daddy, you're winning that fight today, yes. And when I go three, four days without having a drink, man, I'm like, I'm so thankful. And for some people who are not on that journey, they're not gonna have that exact same excitement, but I know my energy level is different, my bounce is different, and that gets me extremely excited. So whatever it is that you're battling, Man, you better pat yourself on the back and be like, heck yeah, I'm doing it, yes. I'm getting it in, yes. Not everyone is gonna understand. Not everyone is going to have that, that, that certain understanding of what you're doing. So things that may be a win to you may not be a win to everyone else in their eyes. So we need to understand that we need to acknowledge ourselves because everyone is not going to be able to have that understanding to acknowledge you for the things that you're accomplishing. There are people in my life that are staring at Project Day like, man, what the hell are you doing? They don't get it. But even those wonderful people who love the hell out of Project Daddy, right? Even though they don't understand what I'm doing, they're supporting me from a distance. They watch me from way over yonder somewhere, but hell yeah, they be supporting Project Daddy. And this is special for me, yes, because there are people who will not vocally support me, but in the background, they do call me and text me and they say, hey, Project Daddy, if you don't got doggone stop all that cussing, you hear me? <laughs> and for you, for all you wonderful people who are supporting Project Daddy, I just want to say thank you. I want to salute you. You are the greatest American alive, you hear me? And I just want to say thank you like a thousand times because like your words, they carry me so far. They give me the encouragement to keep going. And I know you don't understand where I'm I'm going but I'm on a journey right we're all fighting a different fight and I'm trying to fight a really big fight the idea of fighting poverty it's a very big idea it's a huge task it's monumental and there's no way that I can fight that battle by myself there's no way that I can just beat it up with profanity but man I'm angry because I don't like seeing people hurting as you're on your journey I hope that we can work together to accomplish something amazing you have my support project daddy believes in you yes I do on whatever your journey is I believe believe in you I support you because I know without you man project daddy can't exist you understand it's a all a cohesive collaborative effort this whole thing you're just a star in this beautiful universe you are yes you are the greatest American alive the greatest American alive and what I am really present to in the work that I'm putting out and the stuff that I'm sharing, whether it's my failures or the things that I'm using that are helping me in my own struggles, is just how much people are holding themselves back and how much pain people feel. Because most folks know what they dream about and what they want, and yet, they're spending all of their time and energy arguing against what they want. Most men lead lives of quiet desperation and go to the grave with their song still in them. And so you can have all these epiphanies. 
I hope that when somebody listens to our conversation and watches this, that they have a massive aha moment. But it's not gonna mean fucking shit if you don't take action and do something about it. The aha moment is the door that opens. But your new life does not begin unless you fucking step through the door. And most people, and that's what was so kind of, you know, the simple idea of high-fiving yourself, of encouraging yourself, of supporting yourself. Most people, when you have an aha moment and the door to your new life opens up, instead of going, I got this, let's go, and high-fiving yourself to step forward, most of us go, mm, I don't know if I'm worth it. I don't know if right now is the right time to do this. I don't think I'm good enough. I failed so many times, I can't go through that door. And that's the problem I want to attack right now that there is somewhere in your life that you know what you want, you can feel it pulling you, and you are actively arguing against it. You're bringing yourself down. You're beating yourself out. Like, people will cheer for you and me. They won't cheer for themselves. Tell the truth and get some power, okay? Tell the truth and get some power. Life is really hard, all right? No one knows what we're going through except for us. No one knows what you're going through except for you, okay? I can generalize and I can have an understanding based on me paying bills and trying to co-parent with my ex-wife and having three children and all those things. I can kind of say that's difficult for me and so I can assume that whatever it is that you, the greatest American life is going through, it's probably pretty tough for you also, yes? And so just to understand, just to come from a frame of reference that this thing, doing this is really hard, there's no blueprint. I'm trying my best, yes? And if no one knows what I'm going through, then how could they possibly say, hey, Project Daddy, uh, you can get through that thing, you know? I have to take it upon myself to hold myself accountable, to communicate honestly with the people that I love, yes? And for those people that I do love, I have to tell them with my words and with my actions, you hear me? Love is an action, okay? So I have to show them with my actions that I love them, yes? There are some wonderful people out there that are creating amazing content, right? And this goes for them also because I want to work with them. In order to work with them, I have to show them that Project Daddy is not going to be out here just busting F-bombs left and right. No! Project Daddy has some self-control. Believe I'm fighting a different fight. I believe in freedom of speech, yes. I think that the, the word that has the big F on it, it has this impact to it. It just feels good, yes. You know, when you do that action, it feels good. And when you use that word, it feels good. It just does. And so for those wonderful people who support me, I just want to say thank you. I salute you. You guys are the greatest American live. Yes, roll that intro. Everyone's, everyone's, everyone's. We are here. We are back with another episode of Is My Point Valid? So, you know who, what person absolutely positively needs to pat themselves on the back? Because I was like, yeah, man. Who did? Project Daddy and huh. the. <laughs> Hands to the Mickey Ficky ceiling. You are the, the greatest, greatest American, American alive. alive. Yes. Absolutely. Check um, out my brother in law, the greatest, American, the greatest alive. American alive. Not me, not you, but you. Yeah, but uh. The greatest American alive. So I have this habit of every single morning, I stand in front of the mirror and I take a moment and I raise my hand and I give my reflection a high five. You know what the average person does? First of all, we beat ourselves down. Constructive criticism is important. Project that ain't been a lot to himself. I want to get better, okay? And if I tell myself, I right, it's all right, then you know, the next time it's not going to be that good. I want to hold myself accountable. I think accountability is one of the biggest words that we can have. I want to have an accountability partner, but sometimes I can start barking on people. Rawr, 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 and I don't think people take barking so good. But I'm barking out of love, I promise. Right hand to the man, I promise. Project Daddy is barking out of love. Yes, I just want to see everyone do amazingly well. I see these things inside of people, right? It's a really hard dynamic when you believe more in a person than they believe in themselves. It's an even harder dynamic when people believe in you more than you believe in yourself. That's a tricky thing, do you understand? Because they're seeing a gift and a greatness in you that you might not see in yourself. Like I'm not walking around with a 24 hour mirror next to me. I'm not vlogging all day long telling myself, oh my goodness, Project Daddy, you can do it. You're so great, Project Daddy. 
I have to remind myself, if you were to walk inside of Project Daddy's studio, you'll look around and it, it would be like a map of my mind. Positive affirmations everywhere. Project Daddy do this. Project Daddy do that. Project Daddy, this is important. Yes. And so I do that because I want to set goals. I want to have a standard, a level of accountability for myself because there's things that Project Daddy wants. Yes. And if I don't congratulate myself when I get those small accomplishments, then it's really hard for me to notice those really big changes when I say, man, you've really grown well, yes? And so as you fight the good fight, as you fight every obstacle in your life, you make sure that you make tally marks and check marks. Say, I did that and I did this. And then you congratulate yourself, you pat yourself on the back. And if you're not drinking, you take a nice good beverage of something, whatever. And you say, man, I'm so thankful. Yes, I'm so thankful. To live gratitude is to touch heaven. Imagine just to live you and to be thankful for you is to touch heaven. I'm so thankful for you, the greatest American alive. And that moment in the mirror every morning could be a profound moment where you lift yourself up and you check back in with your intention. So the first piece of research, and this is recent from Harvard Business School, is that a simple moment in the morning where you set an intention about who you're going to be today impacts productivity, how you show up as a leader. It impacts your confidence. It impacts your mood all day long. Just that simple moment of setting an intention. So that's research number one. Instead of standing in front of the sink in your bathroom and criticizing your appearance or mindlessly going on autopilot, check back in and let's teach you to make it a habit to lift yourself back up. If y'all have done anything, whether it be something grand or something just you accomplished, go getting up on time, huh. you know, not pressing the, the, um, the, snooze. the snooze. Yeah. Celebrate yourselves. Pat yourself on the back. Um, if I you made it to work on time, hey. pat yourself on the back. That ain't easy. It's not, yeah. especially in this Houston I'm traffic. trying to you understand? <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. You are the greatest American alive. And for all you silent supporters, drop a like or put a comment down there. Yes, say, hey, Project Daddy, the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.